welcome back friends welcome to another video from Shamus biology in this video I'm in a very brief manner I'm going to talk about what is deep sequencing I've, I've heard about confusion about the deep sequ sequencing first things deep sequencing is not any other type of sequencing methods like pyro sequencing or 454 sequencing or iron torrent sequencing it's not it is a category of sequencing depending upon the depth of that sequencing or the coverage of that sequencing okay now depth and coverage of the sequencing is counted based on how many number of times you run the sequencing for a specific fragment of the DNA a specific length of the DNA okay let's say you have a length of 200 base pair long and you run this 200 base pair long uh, DNA third 300 times okay uh, for a sequencing that is known as the coverage it will be huge or high depth for that sequencing okay that is also known as the read through how many times you you load that sequence and you want the sequencer to give you the data now why we require to run a same sequence multiple times now it is important to understand error free result because if you run a DNA sequence for one or twice in that case the data that you will get is not always accurate most of the cases it carries lot of mistakes and errors but if you want to get a better result you need to load that DNA multiple times through the sequencer to get multiple data from it and then you get once you get all the data together you will combine the data to get a proper data without or not actually without but with less error uh, so to minimize error we run multiple times for a specific length of the DNA we read it multiple times that's called the read through rate okay and that is the coverage so so the based on these two parameters like depth and coverage we measure some type of sequencing uh, as a shallow sequencing and some type of sequencing as a deep sequencing shallow, sequ shallow sequencing means in those sequencing we only uh, take it for one or uh, two or less than five uh, times the sequencer is read through for each of those length of the DNA but if it is more than seven times if the sequencing is read through more than seven times that is known as a deep sequencing now nowadays we also run the same sequence uh, data the same DNA fragments more than even hundred times that is known as ultra ultra deep sequencing okay so so there is a formula mathematical formula to understand about the whole process and based on three different parameters one is the length of the genome the, the big how much big your genome is and it's very easy second is the number of reads that means how many times you want the whole genome sequence to be sequenced by the sequencer and third is the average read length average read length means the fraction of the DNA every time you are running uh, in the sequencer that length of the DNA okay so the complete genome and here is the fragmentized genome that you you are loading and getting the data and this is how many times you are loading it to get the data these are the three different parameters that we take account and the formula that we get is n multiplied by l by g this is the formula to calculate the whole thing n multiplied by l by g the number of reads that matters a lot if you increase this number the sequencing number will also increase and if it gets more than 7 x or 7 times then you will call it a deep sequencing if it gets more than 100 times it will, it will be known as ultra deep sequencing this is the idea right so it's not any type of sequencing approach this is just uh, the way to categorize the type of sequencing that we're dealing with now you can run uh, illumina sequencing uh, normally illumina sequencing and most of the next generation sequencing like illumina sequencing or iron torrent sequencing we run it more than seven times so we call them uh, deep sequencing also so the whole process is known as deep sequencing and that and the sequencer that we allow we call it deep sequencer there is nothing extra about it the same processes same technologies are used but it depends on how many times you you go through the read how many times uh, the sequencer read your sequence that is the idea about the deep sequencing so I hope you understand about the deep sequencing if you like the video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel the links are provided here in the top as, as well as in the bottom and obviously 
if you want to know more about the sequencing you can watch all the sequencing videos from my channel they're all good and i hope they all will help you so thank you very much